Welcome to the shop. This is Jason at Geyser Woodturner. Today I want to start a new video series called Wood Turning Challenge. So what that means is I want you to challenge me to make an item on my wood lathe and put it in the comments down below. I'll look through your suggestions and choose a project. This challenge was suggested to me by one of my subscribers, Sir Conference. What I'm going to try to do in this video is make a morel mushroom. At least I think that's how you say it. I've never actually eaten one before. So let's give it a try. We're going to start with a cherry branch that I got from my neighbor. Now it's very dry, so I'm going to cut off the checked end and we'll make a blank out of it. To mark the center on this round piece, I'm just going to make a bunch of lines and estimate where the center would be at. I just don't want to put my centers where the pith is at because that could split the piece of wood. Now that we have the piece mounted between centers, it's time to take off that bark and make the piece round. So I'm using a spindle roughing gouge and working from high point to low point, I'm taking it off little by little. And what we're trying to do is make this piece ready to put into a chuck so I can hold it on one end. So what I'm going to do is turn a tenon on one end with the parting tool. And I'll measure with the calipers and I got that wrong so I'm going to have to measure again. And I'll just take that off that I got wrong. And we're going to just make a dovetail on the end so it'll fit in my chuck. Okay, now that we have that in the chuck, we're going to generally just true that up, make sure it's completely round and get all the bark off of there. And we're going to put some lines on there to mark out our mushroom. We'll do the bulk of the turning with a 3 8 spindle gouge. And basically I'm just going to try and get it to the shape that I want. Notice here that I'm getting kind of like a pear shape going on and I'm not really sure what a morel mushroom looked like so I stopped and looked at a picture and I noticed that it was kind of more like a I don't know like a Christmas tree shape with a bunch of wavy lines in it so that's what I did most of the stems that I saw were kind of just a straight line all the way down um, some of them were curved, but I'm going to put a little base on it so that it'll stand up when I'm done with it. Now that everything is defined, I'm going to remove the tailstock and just work on the end. And I want to take really light cuts so I don't get a lot of vibration. The sanding is pretty basic. I'm just going to use a 120 grit and then a 220 grit just to smooth up the surface to get ready to carve that in. I got out the Dremel with a round high speed bit in it and I'm going to try and make that pattern that you get from the folds it looks like in the top of the mushroom. To me it kind of looks like a brain. I kind of realized that you have to make a lot of deep pockets with not very much space in between and just kind of make a random pattern as you work your way up. And just continue that randomness all the way around. I found it really helpful to have a lathe with indexing that I could rotate a little bit and then lock into place so that I could just work on one side and then rotate a little more, keep working. And when I got to where the sides meet up, I just tried to fill it in and work from both sides until I got all the space filled. Dremel caused some fibers kind of hanging off on both sides, so I'm just going to sand both directions. I'm going to part that off, do a little hand sanding, and then do some spray lacquer on it. All right, our very first wood turning challenge video. That was a lot of fun, but it was a challenge for me. So thank you, circumference. Does that look like a morel mushroom?
How did I do? Let me know in the comments. If you have a challenge for me, let me know. If you want to see more wood turning videos, consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to have an excellent day. We'll see you soon.